When it first opened 75 years ago, Merrimack was one of the first co-ed colleges. Although majors open to women were limited at first, as time went on and things such as gender roles began to change the way that people viewed women's roles in society, women slowly but surely started to become an integral part of the Merrimack College community. Although relatively new within the past 15 to 20 years, the communications department is a staple of the liberal arts department, made up of six powerful women, five of whom I got to interview. I thought a lot about your question, and um, I don't have a lot of stats on it, but I can speak from my personal experience. My phone is on right now because my kids um, are off from school this week, and I would say that juggling the roles as a female professor with or without kids is still a challenge. I think there's a lot more awareness about gender differences and challenges. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean those have been corrected. So I'd say, for example, there is a lot of statistical evidence to say that we get evaluated more harshly in course evaluations. Um, men are more likely to cite their own publications and research, thereby elevating their research profile. And women often get asked to do a ton of uncompensated service work. And um, that's, that's another statistically proven piece. And so I think there's a lot of awareness about it, but the action isn't necessarily there to correct it. So when I was an undergraduate, I went to Wake Forest University in North Carolina, and we had a senior female faculty member, Dr. Jill McMillan, and she was such a fantastic mentor and teacher. She was available, she was helpful, um, she would coach us through schedule issues or you know class issues. Um, and I'd say one of our, our professors was a little creepy um, and she was a good sounding board to talk about what was going on and she made things happen within the department to take care of that issue. Um, another one is someone who I'm not gonna name, but I read her book and looked up to her and applied to her grad program and I got in, but then I didn't go and she was not nice to me during a conference. And so that was an interesting, I think, dichotomy of uh, different female mentors or, or not um, when I was an undergrad. I would just say to actually take action on correcting some of the imbalances and discriminatory structures that I've cited earlier. Um, being aware of these problems and actually addressing them would, would really make a big difference to me. We do great research, we do a lot of great teaching, and I think it would just be nice to be supported in all of that fully. Okay, this is so interesting to me thinking about gender and the field. So I'm coming from like the production world. That was what my degree was in. So I, um, I've i seen it going from being a student to being a, a teacher. So when I was a student um, just 10 years ago in college, uh, most of the, the students in my classes were men. Um, and I was one of the only women in some of these classes in video production, um, which is really awful. <laughs> Um, really, really awful. And then as a, as a teacher now in, in the comm department and teaching production courses, I have so much more of a 50-50 split um, between men and women. Um, and it's really, really interesting to me. It really gives me hope that <laughs> we're kind of moved, moving in the right direction. I had a really great professor, uh, Mary Baker at Fitchburg State. She's actually, I think, the department chair now for the um, communication and media department there. Um, and she was the person that um, I saw, you know, they always talk about in, in, you know, media and everything, like, you want to see yourself, you want to see yourself represented. And I saw myself represented in that classroom when, you know, she was talking about production. Um, she specifically taught pre-production and, and the planning courses and production management. So that's where I really learned a lot of those skills and really fell in love with pre-production. I, I really, really, really hope really, 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 um, that we can just keep working on breaking down those gender stereotypes and gender norms and all of that stuff that's so awful and terrible. Um, there's a lot of pressure on women just in general in the world to just exist um, and be perfect. And no matter what you do, somebody's going to be upset with it. Um, so I think just having more women in these spaces and having more women making mistakes in these spaces and, and you know, not being afraid to have their voices heard and tell their stories. I think we just need to keep like plowing ahead. Some of it comes from having a department like ours where there are a lot of women. Um, I think just having women in those positions and women in these spaces is, is going to help a lot again so other, other women see themselves represented.